In this video, I'll show you how to solve for the f critical value using a homemade f inverse function. To compute the f critical value in the calculator requires an inverse f approach. Given alpha and degrees of freedoms, identify f. Some calculators have the f inverse function, not the TI-83 and TI-84. I've linked a short video on adding a four-line INVF program in the notes below, or here's how to solve for f critical using the solver function and fcdf. Let's say we need to find the f critical value for a right-tailed test with a significance level of 5%, d1 equal to 13, and d2 equal to 11. We press the math button, up arrow to the bottom of the list, and choose Solver. If you see anything on the screen aside from Equation Solver, for example, if you see something like this, then up arrow, and you'll be in the Equation Solver window, press the Clear button, and now you see the screen we want to see. Press the second button and VARS to go into the distribution menus. Arrow down until you find FCDF and enter. On a TI-83 or older, TI-84, you'll see something that looks like the image at right. FCDF with a parenthesis has been pasted into the window. The order of entry is the same as it will be on the newer TI-84. We want to enter the variable we're solving for. Press the X, T, Theta, Pi button, down arrow to the upper, and put in second, the comma button, which puts in the E, E, and 99. The DF numer will be 13, and denom will be 11. If you have an older TI-83, you should put the values in the same order in the parentheses. Enter to paste. We are subtracting out the alpha. Always subtract area to the right, and press Enter. The last step is to press alpha and Enter, and that returns our F critical value of 2.76. The F, which has 5% of area to the right of it with the degrees of freedom of 13 and 11. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, press the like button and subscribe.